my loves, it is Sheena Michelle, and welcome to today's session, How to Make a Graduation Stolen Canva. So as you all can see, I have Canva open, and I'm just going to come up here and hit Custom Size. Now, I am using the app on my computer. If you're using it through your internet browser, it may look just a tad bit different, okay? But I'm going to come in, and here is my size that I have done, and this is the size for the graduation stole. So it's 5.142 wide and 18.617 high. I'm going to go ahead and now we have our basis for our graduation stove. All right. So what I like to do is I like to build the graduation stove from the bottom up. OK, so um, my colors that I'm going to be using today is going to be red, white and blue because the graduate that I have, that's her colors of her school. So I'm just going to simply come in and hit elements. Um, I do have some that I have recently used, but I'll just show you how you search them. And you go to your elements tab and you're just simply going to come in and click red paint splatter okay or if you're looking for blue you're going to choose blue so it simply really just depends on what color you're looking for okay but for me i want the basis of my bottom to be red so i'm just going to come in grab this paint splatter and i'm just going to place it up here okay and then i'm just going to duplicate it out and kind of just place it in random places, okay? And now remember, this, your designer. So if you like it a certain way, then it's yours. It's yours to like. It's not nobody else's to say they don't like it because guess what? You're the designer and the creator of this project, all right? So I'm just going to come out and then I did realize that I do want them a little thicker. So I'm just going to duplicate it out a little more. And here, boom, this is what I have. So this is the back of my graduation stole, all right? So then I'm going to come in and do blue paint splatter. But for this paint splatter, I want it to look like this, all right? So I'm just going to do the same thing. Going to come in and... Pull a few places, move around as I see fit that I need to. And so sometimes it may look like it's gonna be strange, but it's always a, a we're not gonna do too much. And if you like it extravagant, then that's totally up to you how you wanna make it, all right? Then for the final thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some white smoke. At the top of it, I kind of think, let me see, there may be, I think I kind of prefer this one because it's a little darker. And then I could just always go in and uh, bring down my transparency just a little. And then let's see them all. Let's see what all we have because we may find something else in here that we kind of like. That one is a little too smoky. So sometimes we have to search to kind of see what we're looking for. I think I kind of might want this one. Yes. So this is what I want. So I'm not going to go with that one. All right. So I'm just going to make this a little bigger. I'm going to still turn down the transparency until about right here. About 70. Okay. So I'm just going to come up here. And then I'm just going to duplicate it. And then I'm going to show y'all how to fix this area up here if we want it to have that flush, really flush look. So I'm going to do a blur. Okay. And then we're going to choose this white blur. And so we're just going to come up here. And duplicate this baby until it kind of covers up what we need it to cover up, okay? We don't want to make a comment on it. We just want to come about right here. So that way you don't just have a, a solid line, if that makes sense, okay? 
And so, boom, here we have this. Now, I do realize that I do want a little bit more. I don't want the white down there. So, I do, I'm going to go click here, position, layers. I'm going to come over to this, all right, and then I'm going to duplicate it because I know that I do need some down here. And then I'm just going to right click, layer, and then send backward. Okay. So again, I may not like this, but for the purposes of this video, we're just going to go with this. All right. Cause then as a designer, I could spend all day changing this. Okay. So I have, this is the basis. So I'm going to, I want both of them to look the same. So I'm just going to come in and duplicate the page. Okay. So now I'm just going to come in and I'm going to go to my uploads because I do have the senior that I'm going to be using in here. So I'm just going to pull this photo of her, edit photo, remove background. Now, remember, you have to have the pro edition to be able to use the background, to remove the background, okay? All right. So I'm just going to put this about right here. Come back to my uploads. I do have another picture of her. And I'm going to take this one and do the same thing. Remove the background. And so while I'm removing the background, I'm just going to figure out where I want this placed. Okay. Then I'm going to show y'all a little, little secret. All right. So I'm going to layer, right click, um, send backward. Yes, I think I do like this. All right. And so now this is kind of how I want it to look. Okay. And I mean, you just play with this. You just make it your very own. You just kind of do what you want to do with it. Okay. I probably would bring this right here. Maybe place her directly behind. Center her on here. I'm going to take her. Maybe make her a tad bit bigger. Place her right here. I'm going to bring her up about right there. Okay, perfect. So, now... I have this so now I'm gonna just go ahead and um, put her name so we're gonna come up I'm just gonna hit add a heading and then I'm also going to change the color for you all so that you can see and I'm just gonna put a R a L Y N. alrighty so then I'm gonna move this here And we're going to put it right here. And then we're going to go in and I'm going to choose maybe a cursive. I'm just going to go with Black's Wood. And then I think I'm going to change the color to this blue. Okay. All right. We're going to change it to this blue. All right, and then uh, I'm going to go to effects, outline, and we're going to make it white, okay? And then boom, here we have this, and then I'm just going to go in, do another uh, heading. <coughs> And as you all see, and then I'm going to come here, change the color. I think I'm going to do the red for this one this time. All right. I'm going to click here and uppercase her name. 
and then I'm going to choose the font impact okay and you'll see it shortly we're going to put the white behind it okay so watch this watch how simple effects make everything okay <clears throat> and then boom I want this to the front and here I have her name so what I'm simply gonna do is I'm gonna bring this down and shrink this in some so that it's not interfering when I move it around and I'm gonna do the same for this one so then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go to my uploads and I do have her mascot So I'm just simply going to put it down here. Okay. And so now one side is complete. Now I am going to zoom in here so that you all can see. Okay. Right here, when it goes to your design, it won't cut anything off if you keep it above I would say about maybe I would count your inches of your V on your stole okay so now that we have this side done let's shrink it back down and now let's go here and so on this side what we're simply gonna do is I'm going to go to my text and I want to put Congrats. Okay. And then I'm going to duplicate my text. Because I also at the bottom want class. Class of. Okay. And then now I'm going to make this bigger. Okay, and then here I'm going to do G, R, A, B. All right, and I'm going to make this a little longer. And I'm going to change the font once again to impact. I'm going to come up to my spacing, and I want my line spacing about here, okay? And then I can make this longer, okay? And then as you shrink it in, right there, well, I don't have such a big space, okay? And now I'm going to change this to, once again, I'm going to change this to this blue. gonna layer it send backward because I want this little congrats okay I'm gonna move it here and I'm gonna make this cursive okay um what font do I want I tell you what, let's just go with the black wood. Here we go. And I'm going to change this to red. And my effects, I'm going to change it to white. Okay. Then I'm going to shrink it up. I'm going to take it and move it about right there. And then put it right here. I'm going to take this. Make it larger. I'm going to make this white effects outline. We're going to do it in blue effects 
outline and we're gonna do this one in white and I think I may come back in and change this one red and the effects I'm gonna put in white and I'm also going to change the font of this one <clears throat> And then I'm going to do another heading in 2023 is what I'm going to put for my wording. And we're going to go with the impact font. And remember, this is just a design so then I'm going to change this to I think I want this in blue so we're going to change the font to blue and then the effects on that one can also be an outline and let's try white and then we're going to right click and send backward we don't want to send it all the way to the back all right, <clears throat> and so I love the way this looks. I love the way the design is, okay? And if I wanted to come in and maybe adjust it a little bit to making sure that she's totally covered, I can always come in and pull out more here if I need to move up. And so then I like this, I'm gonna go to share, download, and then I always tell y'all that I make these as large as I possibly can. So I'm gonna hit download, okay? And then we're gonna come back to show you the design that's put completely together once you're getting ready to print it. Okay, so let's go and find we're going to shrink this down. We're going to go into my finder and I'm going to go to my desktop. Okay. And so it was a zipped file all right so I'm going to unzip it so I'm going to double click it and what I'm simply going to do is I'm going to open Canva okay I'm going to hold down shift and then I'm just going to drag and drop them okay once I have them dragged and dropped and once they are ready <clears throat> I'm gonna simply show you how it would look and so let's just assume that your printer prints up to a 13 by 19 then I'm gonna show you how you can use your one sheet of paper to print out these soles okay and here we go. This is one side and this is the other. And so now you have officially customized your graduation stole to make it look exactly how you want it to. Okay? So, thank you for watching this video. I look forward to showing you how to assemble this but if you have any questions, make sure that you drop them comments. Alrighty, loves. Bye.